The history of a doll. In Russia, there are a set of dolls called Matryoshka. Each set usually has seven dolls that are all different sizes. The biggest doll in the set is usually around 15 centimeters tall. It can be opened and inside there is another small doll. This can also be opened and there is another doll inside of it. Except for the biggest doll, each of the dolls fits inside a larger one. The matryoshka is a famous part of Russian culture. However, the idea came from outside of Russia. For nearly 1,000 years, the Chinese have made wood boxes that fit inside each other. People use them to keep important items or as decorations. In the 18th century, some of these boxes were made into dolls. These dolls were called nesting dolls and they became popular with wealthy people. At that time, China and Japan traded many things and these dolls were probably brought from China and sold in Japan. Before nesting dolls were brought to Japan, there were already many types of Japanese dolls made from wood. Traditional doll makers used Japanese wood and special painting techniques to make dolls such as Daruma and Kokeshi. Then, in the 19th century, they began to use these techniques to make a new type of nesting doll. This was a set of seven dolls that were painted to look like the seven lucky gods. Like the Chinese nesting dolls, each doll could fit inside a larger one. In the 1890s, a wealthy Russian man named Sava Mamontov received a set of Japanese nesting dolls. He loved traditional Russian culture and wanted to find a way to share it with more people. He asked a group of Russian artists to design a similar set of dolls. However, he wanted these dolls to wear traditional Russian clothing. This is how the first matryoshka was made. Number 34. What is true about matryoshka? 1. The dolls are not sold outside of Russia. 2. The dolls are much smaller than Russian people think. 3. The idea for the dolls did not actually come from Russia. 4. The idea for the dolls came from a famous Russian story. Number 35. What may have happened in the 18th century? 1. Chinese people started using wood boxes as decorations. 2. Chinese nesting dolls began to be sold in Japan. 3. Japanese people began to make more money. 4. Japanese things started to become popular in China. 36. In the 19th century, Japanese doll makers 1. First started making daruma using different kinds of wood. 2. Used traditional techniques to make a new kind of doll. 3. Learned special techniques for painting on wood. 4. Sold Kekoshi that were larger than the old types. 37. Saba Mamontov asked artists to make a set of dolls because he wanted to 1. Find a way to let people know about Russian culture. 2. Give them to the Japanese people he was visiting. 3. See what traditional Russian clothing looked like. 4. Learn more about traditional Japanese culture.